Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to recover lost data from BitNocker protected partitions. Now we are using the DFSRP data recovery hardware. I have connected the source data drive to the SRP SATA0 channel. Now I try to open the DDP data recovery module. Okay. Power on the drive, and um, uh, we need to wait until the drive gets ready. Okay, now the drive gets ready. For this kind of drive, usually the, there are some bad sectors. When users connect the hard drive to the PC, users input the BitNocker password or import the key, but the import or password input failed. That is because the bad sectors or weak heads, the failures of the hard drive cause the write failure. The password is not accepted, even it's corrected due to the bad sectors or the physical damage of the hard drive. Now, so this is why we create this solution for the BitNocker password input and make it valid. Now we set up one new project, file extraction. So at this time we can find the DFL data recovery program list all the partitions automatically. However, we can see there are two BitNocker password protected partitions, these two, when you try to list, we can see these, these two are normal partitions and users can list all the folders and files directly, but for the BitNocker partition, when you click on it, users are required to input the password or import the recovery key. Now let's try uh, this BitNocker partition with 500 gigabytes. Okay, uh, password. I just input my password and click analyze. So we can see the BitNocker processing. The program will start to analyze the partitions using the input password. After the processing completes and the partitions, folders and files will be nested normally and all the data will be visible under this partition. This one, the BitNocker 3. This is one 500 gigabytes partition. Now we just input the password and analyze. Even if this hard drive has bad sectors or weak heads, we can use this method. It's very easy to recover the BitNocker partitions. This is one new solution. And we can find the processing percentage here. So we just need to wait until the analyze completes. Yeah, it's very simple. After the processing completes, we can double click the partition and then all the data under this partition will be available. This is control panel. So this is the first step to recover the lost partitions. Uh, and in the future upgrade, 
they will add one new solution to the BitNock uh, protected partitions. That is when users forget the password. And the new solution will also be possible to recover the BitNock protected partitions without password. So this new solution will be available in the near future upgrades. And it will also be added to the DFSRP DDP data recovery solution. So we can find the processing percentage is almost 8%. And when users get this new software version, and you can find this icon, this is a data decryption icon. When users can click on this one, and then users can find how to recover the bit knocker, protect the partitions, or how to decrypt the Western Digital My Passport hard drives by converting the USB interface to SATA interface. Now we can find Analyze Completes and we can simply click OK and then we can double click this one. Refresh. See? So the BitLocker password has been accessed. Yeah, has been accepted, and all the data here has been available. And we can see the BitLocker mark has been removed. And it become one standard normal partition. And all the data under this partition are available for recovery. Users can just select the wanted files or folders and right click to save this file or recover the file, the selected files. So it's very easy by this method to get all the lost data back from these BitNocker protected partitions. We can also input password to recover this partition with the same process. So thank you for watching this video and all Dolphin users can download this new version from the Dolphin user only forum. Thank you again.